leo karibu endelee kujifunza na hapa tunaendelea na Kichami 7. Kichami 7 na hiki ni kiingereza cha mitandaoni sehemu ya saba Kiingereza cha mitandaoni sehemu ya saba Na katika Kichami 7 tutaangalia mambo kadhaa ambayo watu wamezungumza mitandaoni kuhusu imani. Tuanze na jambo la kwanza ambalo mmoja wapo amesema kuhusu imani. Ambapo kuna maneno haya hapa. Faith can move mountains faith can move mountains faith can move mountains ambapo faith ndio inamaanisha imani faith imani faith can move mountains inamaanisha imani inaweza kuhamisha milima imani inaweza kuhamisha milima faith can move mountains faith can move mountains twende katika jambo la pili au maneno ambayo amesema au ameandika mtu mwingine katika mitandao ni haya hapa let your faith be bigger than your fears let your faith be bigger than your fears let your faith be bigger than your fears inamaanisha acha imani yako iwe kubwa kuliko hofu zako acha imani yako iwe kubwa kuliko hofu zako au ruhusu imani yako iwe kubwa kuliko hofu zako let your faith be bigger than your fears lakini pia namna nyingine ya kutafsiri hili neno let ni sana kusema hebu hebu imani yako iwe kubwa kuliko hofu zako hebu imani yako iwe kubwa kuliko hofu zako au acha imani yako iwe kubwa kuliko hofu zako au pia ruhusu au iruhusu imani yako kuwa kubwa kuliko hofu zako let your faith be bigger than your fears Jambo lingine tunalo liona hapa katika mfululizo huu wa mambo ambayo watu wamezungumza kuhusu imani. Jambo lingine ni hili hapa. Faith is like Wi-Fi. It's invisible but it has the power to connect you to what you need. Faith is Faith is like Wi-Fi. It's invisible but it has the power to connect you to what you need. Faith is like Wi-Fi, it's invisible but it has the power to connect you to what you need. Lakini pia kama utakumbuka it's ni sana it is. Kwa hiyo kusema pia it is invisible. It is invisible. Tukienda hatua kwa hatua kwa ujumbe huu Faith is like Wi-Fi. Imani ni kama Wi-Fi ambapo alama yake ni hapa. Kwa watumiaji wa simu mnafahamu kitu ambacho kinaitwa Wi-Fi. Faith au imani ni kama wifi imani ni kama wifi it's invisible inamaanisha haionekani it's invisible haionekani but it has the power inamaanisha lakini ina nguvu but it has the power lakini ina nguvu tukianzia hapa mpaka hapa inakuwa it's invisible but it has the power it's invisible but it has the power haionekani lakini ina nguvu na the power to connect you the power to connect you inamaanisha nguvu ya kukuunganisha nguvu ya kukuunganisha the power to connect you to what you need the power to connect you to what you need inamaanisha nguvu ya kukuunganisha na kile unachohitaji au nguvu ya kukuunganisha na ambacho unahitaji the power to connect you to what you need nguvu ya kukuunganisha na kile unachohitaji au nguvu ya kukuunganisha na ambacho unahitaji. Kwa hiyo tukianzia hapa kwanza mpaka hapa kabla ya kwenda mwanzo kabisa. It's invisible but it has the power to connect you to what you need. It's invisible but it has the power to connect you to what you need. Haionekani lakini ina nguvu ya kukuunganisha na kile unachohitaji au haionekani lakini ina nguvu ya kukuunganisha na ambacho unahitaji. Mwanzo mpaka mwisho. Faith is like Wi-Fi, it's invisible but it has the power to connect you to what you need. Faith is like Wi-Fi, it's invisible but it has the power to connect you to what you need. Imani ni kama Wi-Fi, haionekani lakini ina nguvu ya kukuunganisha na ambacho unahitaji. Imani ni kama Wi-Fi, haionekani lakini ina nguvu ya kukuunganisha na ambacho unahitaji au na unachokihitaji au na kile unachohitaji twende kwa mwandishi wetu na msemaji wetu wa nne alisema yafuatayo 
no matter how bad your situation is, there is always hope if you have faith. No matter how bad your situation is, there is always hope if you have faith. Twende atua kwa tua. Haya maneno mawili, no matter, inamanisha haijalishi. Haijalishi, no matter. No matter how bad your situation is, no matter how bad your situation is, kwa pamoja na manisha, haijalishi hali yako ni mbaya kiasi gani. Haijalishi hali yako ni mbaya kiasi gani, au haijalishi hali yako ni mbaya kivipi. Haijalishi hali yako ni mbaya kiasi gani, au haijalishi hali yako ni mbaya kivipi. There is always hope. There is always hope ina manisha wakati wote kuna tumaini, au mara zote kuna tumaini. There is always hope wakati wote kuna tumaini, au mara zote kuna tumaini kwa namna nyingine wakati wote lipo tumaini au mara zote lipo tumaini if you have faith if you have faith inamaanisha kama una imani kama una imani au ikiwa una imani hapa kwanza mpaka hapa there is always hope if you have faith there is always hope if you have faith inamaanisha wakati wote lipo tumaini au wakati wote kuna tumaini kama una imani au wakati wote lipo tumaini ikiwa una imani. Mwanzo mpaka mwisho, no matter how bad your situation is, there is always hope if you have faith. No matter how bad your situation is, there is always hope if you have faith. Haijalishi hali yako ni mbaya kiasi gani wakati wote lipo tumaini kama una imani. Au haijalishi hali yako ni mbaya kivipi mara zote au wakati wote kuna tumaini ikiwa au kama una imani. Wengine hawasemi kama una imani bali wanasema kama unayo imani. Kwa tafsiri hiyo twende kwa mwandishi na msemaji wetu wa tano aliandika haya yafuatayo. Faith is having the courage to let God have control. Faith is having the courage to let God have control. Faith is having the courage to let God have control. Faith is having the courage inamaanisha imani ni kuwa na ujasiri. Imani ni kuwa na ujasiri au imani ni kuwa na ushupavu. Imani ni kuwa na ujasiri au imani ni kuwa na ushupavu. To let God have control inamaanisha kumwacha Mungu au kumruhusu Mungu awe na mamlaka ya kuongoza. Kumwacha Mungu au kumruhusu Mungu awe na mamlaka ya kuongoza Mwanzo mpaka mwisho Faith is having the courage to let God have control. Faith is having the courage to let God have control. Imani ni kuwa na ujasiri wa kumwacha Mungu au wa kumruhusu Mungu awe na mamlaka ya kuongoza au awe na mamlaka ya kuamua. Manake akisema hiki kiende hivi kukubaliana naye kwamba kiende hivyo anavyotaka yeye. Akisema hiki kisifanyike hivi kwenda sawasawa na vile alivyosema hicho kisifanyike vile ambavyo hataki kifanyike. Kwa hiyo hiyo ndio kumwacha Mungu awe na control. Manake Mungu aongoze vile ambavyo maisha yako yanatakiwa kuwa na vile ambavyo pia hayatakiwi kuwa. Faith is having the courage to let God have control. Imani ni kuwa na ujasiri wa kumwacha Mungu au kumruhusu Mungu awe na mamlaka ya kuongoza. Kwa namna rahisi tu ni kuongoza mambo yote yanayohusu maisha yako. Kwa hiyo kama hauna ujasiri wa kumwacha Mungu aongoze kila kitu katika maisha yako, hiyo inatafsiriwa kwamba hauna imani. Twende kwa mwandishi mwingine wa sita aliyoyasema kuhusu imani. Without faith it is impossible to please God. Without faith it is impossible to please God. Hatua kwa hatua Without faith inamaanisha bila imani au pasipo imani. Without faith bila imani au pasipo imani it is impossible. It is impossible inamaanisha haiwezekani. It is impossible. Haiwezekani. To please God kumpendeza Mungu. Kumpendeza Mungu kwa namna nyingine kumfurahisha Mungu. Mwanzo mpaka mwisho without faith it is impossible to please God. Without faith it is impossible to please God. Inamaanisha bila imani au pasipo imani haiwezekani kumpendeza Mungu. Bila imani au pasipo imani haiwezekani kumpendeza Mungu. Kwa namna nyingine haiwezekani kumfurahisha Mungu. 
Kwa kwa mujibu wa mwandishi huyu ili umfurahishe Mungu unatakiwa kuwa na imani. Na kwa mujibu wa mwandishi aliyepita ni kwamba kuwa na imani au imani ni kuwa na ujasiri wa kumwacha Mungu au na mamlaka ya kuongoza. Manake kuwa na imani ni kumwacha Mungu au au kumruhusu Mungu au na mamlaka ya kuongoza kila kitu kuhusu maisha yako na hapo huyu anasema kwamba pasipo imani au bila imani haiwezekani kumpendeza Mungu. Kwa hiyo ili kumpendeza Mungu au ili kumfurahisha Mungu tukiunganisha watu wao wote wawili ni kumruhusu Mungu au na mamlaka ya kuongoza maisha yako au mambo yote yanayohusu maisha yako. Twende katika mwandishi wetu wa saba au mwandishi wa saba tunayemwangalia hapa aliandika yafuatayo Thanking God in advance is called faith. Thanking God in advance is called faith. Thanking God in advance is called faith. Tukienda hatua kwa hatua thanking God inamaanisha kumshukuru Mungu. Thanking God kumshukuru Mungu au kusema asante kwa Mungu. Thanking God. In advance tafsiri rahisi zaidi inamaanisha mapema, mapema. Maana kabla ya wakati au kabla ya jambo fulani kutokea. In advance. Thanking God in advance. Thanking God in advance inamaanisha kumshukuru Mungu mapema. Ikiwa inamaanisha kwamba kabla lile jambo au kile kitu hasa ambacho unatarajia kukipokea kutoka kwake ndipo umshukuru kabla haujakipokea ukamshukuru hiyo inaitwa imani kwa kumshukuru Mungu mapema maana kabla kitu fulani jambo fulani au mambo fulani unayotarajia kutendea ndipo umshukuru kabla hayo hayajatokea au kabla hayo hayajatendeka unapomshukuru kabla hayo kutokea hiyo huitwa imani thanking god in advance is called faith Thanking God in advance is called faith. Kwa namna rahisi, kumshukuru Mungu mapema huitwa imani. Kumshukuru Mungu mapema huitwa imani. Kwa namna nyingine kwa mujibu wa mwandishi huyu, mtu mwenye imani ni yule anayeweza kumshukuru Mungu kabla vitu anavyotaka Mungu amtendee haja vitenda. Twende kwa mwandishi wetu wa nane. Mwandishi wetu wa nane ana haya yafuatayo. Faith is seeing light with your heart when all your eyes see is darkness faith is seeing light with your heart when all your eyes see is darkness faith is seeing light faith is seeing light inamaanisha imani ni kuona nuru au imani ni kuona mwanga light ndio inaweza kutafsiriwa kama nuru au mwanga kwa hiyo imani ni kuona nuru au kwa hiyo imani ni kuona nuru au imani ni kuona mwanga with your heart with your heart inamaanisha kwa moyo wako kwa moyo wako Kianzia hapo mpaka hapo faith is seeing light with your heart faith is seeing light with your heart imani ni kuona nuru au ni kuona mwanga kwa moyo wako imani ni kuona nuru au ni kuona mwanga kwa moyo wako when inamaanisha wakati all your I see all your eyes see inamaanisha kile chote macho yako yakionacho au kile chote ambacho macho yako yanaona na kwa namna nyingine kile ambacho ma, kile tu ambacho macho yako yanaona kile tu ambacho macho yako yanaona is darkness inamaanisha nigiza is darkness nigiza hapa mpaka hapa all your eyes see is darkness all your eyes see is darkness hii inaweza kumaanisha chote ambacho macho yako yanaona ni giza lakini kwa tafsiri nyingine rahisi zaidi ni kwamba ambacho macho yako yanaona ni giza tu ambacho macho yako yanaona ni giza tu au kile macho yako yaonacho ni giza tu all your eyes see is darkness mwanzo paka mwisho faith is seeing light with your heart when all your eyes see is darkness faith is seeing light with your heart when all your eyes see is darkness ambayo inamaanisha imani ni kuona nuru au imani ni kuona mwanga kwa moyo wako wakati kile ambacho macho yako yanaona ni giza tu imani ni kuona nuru au mwanga kwa moyo wako wakati kile ambacho macho yako yanaona au kile macho yako yakionacho ni giza tu kwa hiyo ndio kuwa na imani kwamba kutokea ndani ya moyo wako unaona nuru maana unaona vitu vikiwezekana wakati macho yako yanacho, yanachoona ni vitu kutokuwezekana. Kwa hiyo unaona kutokea ndani, kwa kwa imani unaona kutokea ndani, 
na si kutokea nje. Manake imani haitafsiri uwezekano wa mambo kutokea kwenye mazingira yaliyopo kwa namna inayoonekana bali utafsiri mambo kuwezekana kutokea katika mazingira ya ndani huku kusikoweza kuonekana. Hiyo ndiyo imani. Na kwa mujibu wa mwandishi wetu wa tisa ambaye pia ndiye atakuwa mwisho kwa mfululizo huu wa ujumbe mbalimbali kutoka kwa waandishi walioandika kuhusu imani aliandika haya yafuatayo have faith in god god has faith in you have faith in god god has faith in you hatua kwa hatua have faith in god inamaanisha kuwa na imani katika mungu kuwa na imani katika mungu kwa namna rahisi zaidi muamini mungu have faith in god muamini mungu au kuwa na imani katika mungu god has faith in you god has faith in you inamaanisha mungu ana imani katika wewe mungu ana imani katika wewe ambaye kwa namna rahisi pia ni mungu anakuamini mungu anakuamini kwa mwanzo paka mwisho have faith in god god has faith in you have faith in god god has faith in you muamini mungu Mungu anakuamini. Muamini Mungu, Mungu anakuamini. Kwa namna nyingine, kuwa na imani katika Mungu, Mungu ana imani katika wewe. Na baada ya kuona haya maelezo yote kwa Kiswahili kutokea kwenye huu ujumbe wa Kiingereza, basi nisome tena kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho hizi sentensi na uone kama unaweza kazisikia kwa Kiingereza tu na ukakumbuka ni nini kimemaanishwa kupitia sentensi hizi au kupitia ujumbe huu kutoka kwa waandishi hawa tisa ambao tumewaona. Number one, faith can move mountains. Faith can move mountains. Number two, let your faith be bigger than your fears. Let your faith be bigger than your fears. Number three, faith is like Wi-Fi. It's invisible, but it has the power to connect you to what you need. Faith is like Wi-Fi. It's invisible, but it has the power to connect you to what you need. Number four, no matter how bad your situation is, there is always hope if you have faith. No matter how bad your situation is, there is always hope if you have faith. Number five, faith is having the courage to let God have control. Faith is having the courage to let God have control. Number six, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Number seven, thanking God in advance is called faith. Thanking God in advance is called faith. Number eight, faith is seeing light with your heart when all your eyes see is darkness. Faith is seeing light with your heart when all your eyes see is darkness. Number nine, have faith in God. God has faith in you. Have faith in God. God has faith in you. Ikiwa unahitaji kupata somo lingine leo katika mfululizo wa masomo ya Kiingereza cha kuongea utaenda YouTube sehemu ya kutafuta video kisha utaandika kwa mfano somo la kwanza Kiingereza cha kuongea ikiwa unatafuta somo la kwanza lakini kwa mfano kama unataka somo la kumi utaandika somo la kumi Kiingereza cha kuongea na kadhalika kwa utakuwa unabadilisha ile namba ya somo tu lakini maneno yote unatumia hayo hayo ili kupata somo tofauti